seen from desert plants of Avalon in the north of Ireland. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about scale insect on Seria spiralis and what you can do to remove it. Now I've made a video on how to remove scale from cactus plants already but I wanted to do a special one on the Seria spiralis because in my opinion and also in many other growers opinions as well this particular cactus seems to be extremely prone to scale insect and scale insect is a little tiny shelled insect that you often see on um, plants when they've been attacked little tiny bumps of um, little scabs all over the cactus here and while it's common for cactus plants to have little scabbing and corking as they age scale looks quite different because you can see there's an example there just point if if you can see I've just moved it off actually but it has a little tiny it's a scab and it also has a little raised bump in the middle of it and that's the scale insect underneath the hard shell that they have to protect themselves and I'll just show you I've got a good example on this this particular cereus here full of scale insect very very annoying pest and I'm going to explain what you can do to get rid of it if you have this on your cactus plants or your cereus spiralis now as I've mentioned I have made a video on how to remove scale from it from cactus so do check that video out I'll link that video up above and down below in the video description but what I'm going to be doing with this particular Seria spiralis is I'm going to be using the rubbing alcohol I use a hundred percent isopropyl alcohol and you can dilute it a little bit if you, if you want to but I use it hundred percent strength personally on cactus plants I find it doesn't hurt them at all it's very good for removing scale insect and also other types of pests especially mealybugs as well and I put a little bit here into this little pink bowl here and then what I'm going to do is once it's dried and I've removed as many of the scale insects as I can find then I'm going to sprinkle it with a very light dusting of diatomaceous earth and I've just recently the past six months been using diatomaceous earth and I'm really really happy with it it's particularly good to use on cactus plants that are extremely spiny or very woolly such as the mammillarias or the cephalocereuses they're impossible to remove with rubbing alcohol and a brush because you just can't get in between the spines um, and especially if they're very woolly so a sprinkling of diatomaceous earth which I've got some here with a little brush brush it on I leave it for a few days and then I blast it off there with a bit of a jet stream of water and it removes all the mealy bugs you can leave a light dusting of di diatomaceous earth on the cactus doesn't always look the most attractive because it gives it a bit of a white appearance it's completely harmless to the plant and it's harmless to, to humans and animals as well so it's a very very good so what I'm going to be doing first with this cactus is using the isopropyl alcohol and what I'm going to be doing, it's going to take me a bit of a while, but I'm going to show you a bit of an example. I'm going to start from, from the bottom up, is you want to obviously dab it on. And the good thing is with the rubbing alcohol, it does dissolve the scales. As you can see there, it's coming off quite easy. And you'll know if it's natural corking or whether it's scale insect if you're not sure. Because if you're rubbing on with the rubbing alcohol, then it won't remove natural corking. But it, the scale insect comes off very easy. And I'll just show you a bit of better example here where there's quite a lot. You can see how easy it comes away. So that's how you know that it's scale insect. And it's a bit time consuming because you have to sort of make sure you do it everywhere, including all the areoles where a lot of these scales hide. But um, once I've removed this, then the alcohol pretty dries pretty quickly as well. But once it's fully dried, then I'm going to do a dusting over with a diatomaceous earth. And the reason why I go over again with a diatomaceous earth is because it's a bit of an extra precaution. Because diatomaceous earth is brilliant. It, it's like it's brilliant for, shed, for any new, new insects that hatch. Um, including mealybug as well then it's this is getting rid of all the ones I can physically see but the diatomaceous earth will get rid of any ones that sort of are hiding that you just cannot see or reach any newbies that sort of hatch out they'll then get they'll get completely shelled by the diatomaceous earth see how the rubbing alcohol is melting all the scale away and I have made a video on, on um, natural corking on cactus plants and what it looks like so you'll know the difference by watching that video and I'll link that video also up above and down below but the one thing I love about rubbing alcohol it just melts these scale insects away 
Now here's an example of natural cork in there. This is brown sort of scabbing, which is sort of normal, on, especially on these type of serious plants. So um, that's normal there, as you can see. No amount of alcohol is going to remove that. Now there's this serious spiral. It's nicely cleaned up from as many of the scale insects, insects as I can find. So I'm going to let this just dry now and then I'm um, going to show you how to sprinkle it with the Diatomaceous earth. Now another tip I want to mention is as well, it's probably a good idea to remove the top surface of the soil because scale insect also can hide just underneath the, the top of the soil. So remove as much of the top soil as you can and then going to be placed with some fresh soil. And I'm also going to sprinkle the deer to myself surf on the top of the soil as well. I've also made a care video on how to care for and grow Cereus spiralis. So if you're new to this cactus or we just want to know more about how to care for it, then do check out the video I've made on how to care for Cereus spiralis. Links also up above and down below. Now it's all dried, so it's time for the Diatomaceous earth, and I've put a little bit in here already, the little brush to brush on. Now Diatomaceous earth it's, is actually the fossilised remains of tiny aquatic organisms. That is very, very high in silica, and these little organisms are called diatoms. And because of the high silica, they can be abrasive to very tiny insects, that, especially shelled insects, such as mealybug and scale insect, but completely harmless to humans and animals. In fact, if you have a little bit there and rub it in, it makes your skin feel so soft. Very, very lovely. So it's very, very safe to use around the garden and in the home too. So all you need to do is just put a very light covering on, so just a bit of a dab here. And then sprinkle it, I'm going to start from the top. You can sort of dab it on, puff it on if you want to as well. And then gently, lightly, lightly brush it on. It does take a bit of time and you want to particularly pay attention to where the areoles are because that's where scale and mealybugs like to hide. That's the cactus all um, sprinkled with the Diatomaceous earth and as I say I can leave this on for a few days. Now could you can leave it on you know as long as you want really I mean it's going to get plenty of light as well so it's not really blocking out any of the light. I've just had a bit of a light dusting as you can see there and I've also put some as well on the base of the plant on around the base and also on the soil so if there's any scale lurking in the underneath the soil it's also going to be um, killed by the Diatomaceous earth as well. You can also use it for root mealybugs by mixing a small handful of it into your into your compost when you're potting up plants as well. Very effective against root mealybugs. So I hope you found that video useful should you get scale or mealybug or any other type of shelled annoying insect on your Cereus spiralis or your other cactus plants in general. And I want to thank you all for watching. And if you haven't done already, please do subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at Desert Plants of Avalon. And for more growing tips on how you can care for and grow uh, cacti and succulents as well as regular articles, do check out my website, desertplantsofavalon.com. I want to wish you all an amazing plant-powered day.